Hello, my crafty friends. Well, this is my journal, the first one that I've made for the September stash busting junk journal challenge um, put on um, by Dear Julie Julie. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just thought I would show it to you. I've got the um, this kind of a closure on it. I've never done that before, but I like it. It's it's cute. It's working out good. It's just a couple of those with some a piece of lace. And um, the cover has a piece of fabric and then a piece of lace and then some more lace, um, you know, along the edge there. And I just thought that was such a pretty cover. I didn't do anything else to it. And this was our first mini challenge of the month to make an, um, an envelope or decorated envelope out of a template from uh, like a, a bank envelope. And I just added a little lace there. That's all I've done to that one. And there's kind of a collage of some um, fussy cut flowers. I made some um, paper clip embellishments out of, from um, the little parts on the back of a calendar. When you... Um, you know, on the very back of the calendar, they have those little places where they show you what's in the calendar, what the pages are in the calendar. Well, I made I made three, I think, paper clips from that. And this is just a journaling card. There's the other side of that paper clip. And here's another journaling card. Here's another one of those paper clips. Let me... Um, bring this up a little closer to you so you can see it. Oops, wrong way. There we go. <laughs> and then here's another one of those little journaling cards with the flowers. And here's a, a paper clip um, like a flag and it's got a picture of the uh, herbal, the cover of a herbal um, book and then this is a uh, postcard isn't she pretty I just thought that fit perfect in this book and some more um, some cotton uh, crocheted cotton lace and I just put some glue on the edges so it wouldn't ravel and glued that on there and then this is a a piece that um, that I watercolored on and then I um, glued it down right here so it'll tip over so you can write or whatever you want to on that side as well as in here. So it's like a tip out um, thing. But I, I kind of liked having that there so I didn't want to get rid of it and so I just did that with it. And there's another one of those um, journaling cards and the last um, of these paper clip embellishments that I made from that calendar. Well I've got two more of the little squares but they're just like little mini journaling cards. I haven't decided what to do with them yet. They're stuck in the back somewhere. And this is another one of those flowers. I had a bunch of those. I just put them all in here. That's another one of the things that I watercolored from an herbal book. And this was out of a, <clears throat> a book on how to draw and paint um, butterflies. And so this is you know, in one of the pages where they're showing you how to do things, you can see all the arrows where they're saying this, you do that and do this. <laughs> and then inside it, um, I just put some uh, pattern um, tissue that I had stamped on. And then I put these butterflies from that same book inside that. And this is um, another one of the flowers from that herbal book that I, um, it was talking about rose hips, and I just used the watercolor markers on it too. And then on this rose, on the back of it, I just put this piece from another book, and this is one of the uh, quotes out of that book. And this was the, um, actually the cover page for that book. And then I just added this in there too, because I thought it was pretty and would go with it. And that flips out. And this is a place for you can tuck stuff. And I obviously have not finished this book, but this is probably all I'm going to do to it. Um, 
I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, there's somebody out there that'd like to buy it. I'd probably sell it to you, but um, I haven't made any plans on what to do with it yet. This is another one of those images that I just watercolored with the markers. And this is my other um, envelope that I made from a template from an envelope. And then I used some ink on this flower and put some, um, I think that's actually a paper towel that I glued on the back of it. And then I just folded it over and glued it down here. And then on top of the paper towel, I put this flower and then some lace just to give it some, I don't know, some softness. And this is water uh, wallpaper that I just attached to the other side of this page made a pocket and then I used um, these images and made a giant card to go in there you could journal around it if you wanted to um, I liked the colors and the pictures went well with the colors and so um, there's another tuck spot from that same little um, book where I got the uh -huh. I can find it now. Ah! Uh, I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> oh, here we go. No? Okay, forget it. <laughs> the same book where I found that other quote. And then here's some... Um, these are tea dyed papers, and this is a... Um, A journal. What do you? Oh goodness, my brain is dead. I'm still trying to get well, y'all, and my brain hasn't caught up with the rest of me. There's two little bitty journaling cards made out of the um, the rest of that calendar, and then this is a just a flower that I put on and um, made that paper clip thingy from that. And there's a, another journaling card. Um, I just collaged some stuff on there and then put a flower on the front. And I just put a little lace right there. And that's all. That's all I've done. She's ready for somebody to have fun with. I had fun making it. That's that's my fun. I'm, I'm, I enjoy making the books. I'm not that big of a journaler um, when it comes to writing and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm happy to have got that finished. And then I've started some, um, well, I'll show you these first. I've started some more little one signature journals. I haven't put any um, scrapbook papers in this in these first five yet. I've just got the, the cover is a wallpaper, a vinyl wallpaper, so it's pretty sturdy, even though it's really soft. And then I've got some tea dyed papers inside. And then I'm going to add some scrapbook paper to it. And then I've got two like this, and two of those, oops, sorry, and one like this that are all the same way. So there's five of those, and these, I have got the um, scrapbook paper inside, I just haven't sewn them together yet, and they have a flap that comes over like this. And so the inside of this one looks like this. And then it's just the opposite, you know, the other side of those. And these are, um, these are all pretty similar. They have different, um, you know, different covers and different um, scrapbook papers, but the uh, tea dyed papers are all the same, or pretty much the same. I've tried to coordinate the papers that are inside with the, um, you know, what's on the cover. And this is another one, pretty much just like that one, except the papers inside, once again, are a different color. I went with kind of turquoisey colors because this butterfly has a little bit of that and the 
writing is a little bit that way. And I had this paper I need to use, so. And these are pretty much going to be just naked journals. <laughs> They're going to be for somebody else to embellish. They're not um, not something that I would, that I'm not planning at the moment anyway to do anything else to them after I get them put together. And if somebody wants some of these, they can let me know that too. This one, um, I think this is probably my favorite of all of these. But it's got some paper and then I put some of this um burlap for one page and this is a real uh, pretty textured brown paper so that's what I'm working on right now I'm trying to do some stash busting and this was all stuff in my stash so I feel like I'm I'm accomplishing what I'm setting out to do in September and I'm staying at, I'm having trouble staying in screen sorry about that um Anyway, I just thought y'all might enjoy seeing what I've been doing while I've been sick and hadn't been able to do my the stuff that I've been planning on, which was um, embellishing all those little projects we did in August. So hopefully I can get to that. Uh, I still want to finish this, and I don't know what else I'm going to do for the scrap bust and thing except for the other mini challenges. But, um, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good here. So uh, y'all have a great day, and God bless you. Bye-bye.